everyone this is Joanna welcome to my channel I'm going to do a little plus size get ready with me I'm gonna start with what I'm gonna do when I wake up so I'm gonna use my kind to skin vital vitamin foaming cleanser which is a really nice mousse that helps people like me wake up in the morning you just squirt a bit this is what it looks like when it comes out I just apply it to my face like this, like a shaving cream, and then I'm going to wash it off, rinse it off. Okay, so I've washed my face. Now I'm going to use uh, my face cream, which is I'm using at the moment because one of my friends does the PR for this company. It's a Greek company called, uh, da, the, the product is called Dalon, and it's hyaluronic complex. It is uh, lifting anti-aging moisturizing. I really like this. This is very firming and very, uh, it does feel hydrating. It's nice and cold, cool. So it feels a little bit like um, it's pulling your skin, but not in a bad way. Like really nice, really good for dry patches. I have been using this quite a while and I really, really like it. So I'll try to link it down below. Uh, to show you where you can find it. It's supposed to be moisturizing and You know all the good stuff 50 ml. So it's good for traveling. I Don't know the price though because as I said it was a gift and She also gave me this be earth cosmetics Glorious eyes, which is anti-aging for eyes. I haven't used this because I was using my uh, Eye cream until now. So I'm gonna show Ooh, it's a little cream and let's just apply on the side just to put it on my under my eyes I don't really know about eye creams because you know oh it's nice and refreshing it smells like a little bit floral hang on I haven't I'm gonna go out like this with a bit of eye cream on my eye um it smells a bit floral I will link this down below as well just in case you're in Greece on holidays or you are one of my Greek subscribers. Uh, Greek skincare is really, really good. So you should check it out. I'll just try to find a Greek pharmacy so you can look things up. Now I'm going to continue with my outfit of the day. Okay, so I'm wearing this H&M jumper. It's a springy jumper. I like how it has these lines. Do you see the print up close? and it's nice it's not too too warm it's a springy brown jumper as i said and it comes up to under your waist um and then i'm wearing a wide leg pair of trousers which again is from h m these are 1999 pounds and this is nine pound and i also bought this little shell necklace I don't know if you can see it this I like this necklace it is um this is all the rage like shells and all those kinds of things are in fashion but I don't like it to be too too shelly so I opted for something subtle this was eight pounds so this is the outfit I'm also wearing a little singlet on the inside and I'm gonna do my makeup going to show you what my makeup is. This is just an everyday outfit for work, like what I'd wear for work. So I'm going to go have my breakfast and I'll be back. I forgot to tell you what size I am. So this is a large, the top, and the trousers are large, extra large. I needed a large, so I didn't need an extra large, but now I've got it, so I've got to wear it. And I'm usually that's what I wear at H and M. I'm usually a size 16 for trousers, 14 for tops. So those are my measurements. Now off to coffee. So I've put my foundation on, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 Hour. That tube thing. I'm in the shade vanilla, and I've also put on my um, translucent powder, which is the Rimmel insta fix hang on let me show you so insta fix and matte that's what this one is really like it it's nice 
Okay, now the black, the I'm gonna contour with the Too Faced cocoa powder. What's it called? It's called Coco uh, Soleil in number the dark the matte bronze. I'm like I don't know how to talk today. I'm just gonna draw a line here, a line here with my Lottie London um, contouring brush and then I'm just going to put a bit under my neck a little bit at the top I'm just going to blend everything I'm going to put on my blusher apart from this bronze I'm going to also use my Laura Mercier bronzer in O2 I really like this it's dummy proof so you don't go too dark, I think. Then again, I'm colorblind, so I never know about these things. But no one has ever told me that I look like a clown, so I can't be doing makeup that mad, that bad. Although I don't claim I'm a makeup artist. Gold Rush from Benefit. That's going to be my, um, what should we call it, blusher. I got the little one, and I've had this for a year. It's fine. I haven't even hit pan. So all good. I'm just going to put a little bit. On the top here, I'm gonna blend everything in a minute. Highlighter from the Sophie palette from Makeup Revolution. I really like this. I think you can see it now. And That's quite a bit. This this makeup revolution picks up quite a bit of um, quite a bit of makeup. Now I'm going to blend it a bit. Everyone is talking about this. I haven't used it yet. Let's see what it does. It's the essence. Lash Princess. Hang on, I need to do this carefully. Okay, so that's one eyelid. The brush is a bit weird. It's. Uh, do you see how it does that little curve thing? And I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, so that's the Lash Princess from Essence. I really like it. Do you see? Look at my eyelash. It does give volume and it's not very easy to apply though it gets it's a bit sticky i don't know if that's why it looks so but yeah okay so the lippy i'm using is max factor it's called um what's it called bewitching coral that's it i really really like this it's more springy and this is the final look. I just combed my hair, which needs washing. And I think I might check that I have blended everything before I head out. So, H&M, H&M, H&M trousers. And then L'Oreal Infallible. My um, powder is Rimmel Insta Mix. Um, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep to contour and then Laura Mercier bronzer in 02 I'm using the Lash Princess Essence um, mascara and the what else am I using and the lipstick is Bewitching Coral I think Max Factor and Sophie X palette highlighter now, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm still trying to figure out where to look to be looking at you. I'm looking at the minutes and I'm also looking at the little screeny thing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm trying to grow. That would be great. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.